Is everyone awake? Show of hands. Are we awake? I got it. We're awake. Good. We're awake. All right. Back to witches, because you need to be awake to fight witches. And you're going to need to be awake to find some labyrinths. And uh, that is where uh, witches live. So they sometimes have familiars as well. And uh, you can find these labyrinths pretty much anywhere. Uh, so hospitals, traffic, like when you're trying to cross that crosswalk out there uh, when it was dark out and they didn't have the cops. Labyrinth. Uh, the red light district and uh, anime convention. Wait, what? What? Red light district. What are like 15 year old girls doing the red light districts? It's Japan. Yeah, it's Japan. Don't ask. <laughs> Yeah, it's Japan, and again, this is an all-ages panel. <laughs> Ooh. So the appearance inside of a labyrinth is actually directly related to its location and also the mental state of the witch. So the bigger the labyrinth, the stronger the witch. Um, this whole convention could very well be a labyrinth, and it just looks like an anime convention because it took place in an anime convention. So just be careful when you leave this room, because there's no telling. Uh, labyrinths actually aren't visible to humans, though. So if a human enters one, they rarely make it out alive. Uh, if you die in a labyrinth, your body's going to stay there, and you'll be considered a missing person in the real world. On rare occasions, a witch is so strong, they don't even need to hide in a labyrinth. Uh, so for example, Valpurgis Knot, right here, is so big that uh, humans can't, still can't see her, but she gets mistaken for natural disasters like big storms, hurricanes, uh, tornadoes. And uh, when you come across a witch this big, just be careful because most of you will not be strong enough to defeat it and should probably just run away. How will um, you tell? What? How will you tell? Soul gem. It'll blow. <laughs> your soldier will let you know, and uh, you'll be able to sense it using your magical real powers. Unless you're Sayaka. <laughs> Just, yeah. Unless you're Sayaka, and then you charge blindly into everything. But uh, yeah, as I uh, said before, the witches are important because killing them is how you get the grief seeds. And some of these witches actually can carry more than uh, one grief seed, but that hasn't been confirmed. And uh, you never know really when you're going to get a grief seed because not all witches carry grief seeds, which just encourages you to keep on fighting so that you can get more witches, so that you can use more magic. And on top of that, you can even collect and store grief seeds for future use. So better stock up just in case, you never know. Uh, magical girls will also even fight each other over their uh, rights to a grief seed. So have, because having more grief seeds, does mean that you can purify your soul gem more often so that you can use more magic for either, you know, for fighting witches or for yourself. Uh, witches familiars, who you can find in a labyrinth right here, it's those big white things that are attacking our young Homura. They are in labyrinths, but they don't carry grief seeds. So sometimes they'll split off from the witch and form their own labyrinth. Even when that happens, they still don't carry group seeds. Uh, but if you leave them alone, uh, they can eat, according to Kyoko, maybe four to five people, and then they'll turn into a witch on their own. So witches have grief seeds. Familiars don't. So what do witches have? Grief seeds. Not grief seeds. What do familiars not have? Grief seeds. There we go. What does Sayaka have? Not I don't know. <laughs> uh, magical girls like Kyoko do choose to defeat the familiars uh, because more witches equals more grief seeds. So it's a smart way of going about it. Other magical girls uh, like Sayaka still think they have to defeat familiars because defeating familiars is a personal preference. The only problem is that you may use too much magic actually defeating the familiars, and uh, especially if you don't have any grief seeds saved up. So by the time you get to the witch, you're gonna be out of grief seeds and you won't be able to defeat the witch. So only the most experienced magical girls can actually kill familiars and the witch without any consequences. For example, Mommy to Yeah. Because Mommy over here has mastered her magic and she does feel like it's her duty to defeat the familiars before they can hurt someone. 
Uh, this, however, did influence Sayaka's opinion on the whole defeating three million years better. But Sayaka will always use too much magic in any timeline where she tries to kill familiars because she sucks as a magical girl. She's a joke. Oh, yeah, a bad one. <laughs> so who, show of hands, would be like Sayaka and try to defeat the familiars? Oh, come on. So, is there any come point? They don't have to For money. Save people. And, yeah, and then who would be the opposite, and they would let them live to be witches? All right. Any of you want to share your opinions on why or why not? Well, if you need uh, witches for you to purify your soul stone, then you're going to need to do that sacrifice. You're going to need a witch. So, yeah, what's, witches. what's the price of a few people? Yeah, <laughs> they're going to die anyway. You burn yourself out fighting familiars all the time and then turn in, oh, and then uh, die, I guess. Then you won't be able to save as many people in the long run if you take a more pragmatic road. Soulstone economics. <laughs> or soldier economics. <laughs> Feeding familiars into witches is hubris. Hubris causes downfall. Also, it's the right thing to do. <laughs> I mean, you can all, I remember how Yoko always ch chased off the most familiars. I mean, if you're really, personally, I would probably chase the familiars into like bad areas or move to like a prison. And then, then it just, you, it could just eat all those people and become a witch. I mean, they're a witch for every person. Holy crap, light yagami. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's I just the no easiest way. way if you if you really want to take it out, I mean, we might as well take the bad people out. I'm the type of like always like I'm, I'm not a mercy person. Like I take out the bad people too. So like you might as well just get rid of both two thirds with one token. Yeah. That's one way of doing it. Uh, you might very green. you know that Kyoko spent like a whole year sucking before she ran into mommy? Yeah. And then mommy actually like made her good? Sounds like she needs to get good. <laughs> yeah. So that's the only problem with that approach, is it can take a long time. Determination. That's why mommy is actually the exception to all of our other magical girls, because she can do so many cool things without using up all of her magic. And somehow Kyoko must have just been lucky that whole year being awful at being a magical girl, and then she just happened to run into mommy. And uh, mommy has also had a lot of other girls that she has helped out, and they eventually all doesn't work out. <laughs> Poor mommy, I was alone. <laughs> Anyone else have anything that they would like to add? Well, well uh, not really to this one, kind of question. If you knew beforehand, about uh, the green seeds, could you wish for infinite supply of them? <laughs> constantly uh, purify your soul and just be OP as hell? <laughs> no. Yeah. There's a limited amount of energy. There's some sort of a loophole around that, unless. Yeah. Could, you could wish to know where they'd be located. But like, you couldn't wish for them. Yeah, see, I mean, because the problem is the whole. Economics of grease seeds wouldn't allow you to actually have grease seeds because you would almost be like an incubator of sorts. Then, well, I think the whole thing about that is it's never like the QB has probably never dealt with that wish because we're talking about 14 year old girls making these contracts, and even like Sayaka and Madoka saw the whole process of getting the grease seed and how it uh, purifies your soul gem, and they still were like, Yeah, we want to become magical girls, and didn't ask any questions. Yeah, but Monica made a way better wish. It depends on what timeline. <laughs> she saved him for like how many times? Uh, lots of times. So I could have did one thing and one thing good, and that was become a witch. <laughs> Wait, sorry. Spoilers. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, anyone else back there? What if you became a magical girl and then just did fight? So it'd be like getting a free wish, basically. Uh, the problem with that is you're 
to maintain your body uses an ever so slight amount of magic. So yeah, you would last a long time, but eventually you would like notice that your soul is becoming impure. But since your body is not your, with your soul gone, it does decompose. So that's kind of gets into, if your body is away from your soul gym for more than 24 hours, you will become kind of a, zombie, a real life zombie because your body will decay. And then if you bring your soul gym back, you can be like a skeleton. Didn't that happen? Yes, it happens in the PSP game for Monica Magica. <laughs> Suicide Hunters. But we live in America, so we haven't actually played the PSP game. <laughs> you can but play on it, it is region open, so if you do have a PSP, you can play it. Mm -hmm. Isn't it in Japanese, though? Yes. Yeah, that's why we haven't done it, because we don't know how to read yeah. Japanese. Wish to speak Japanese. <laughs> yeah. That would have been a good wish. <laughs> All right, anything else before we move on? Oh, I see one hand back there. Yeah, you got a sick sense of humor and you just love to see people with misery. And you're just too lazy to take care of anybody. You got a dark sense of humor, so. You can't laugh. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. It's a dark sense of humor, hey. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, we don't understand emotions. That's what else though. All right, well, now that we know all about group seats, just to uh, reinforce uh, some, uh, some points about the grief seeds that uh, we have not touched on yet. Grief seeds actually can be dangerous after you use them. So once a grief seed has absorbed all of your impurities and it can't be used up again, make sure that you give it to Cube because he's going to dispose of it before a witch matches. Eat it. Because, oh no, witches hatch from grief seeds. There is no burp sound effect? No burp sound effect. Do you have a burp sound effect? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I can. He's eating it through his back. <laughs> Your fate. If you make it this far. Oh, uh, theoretically, uh, couldn't you just keep the empty grief seeds, hatch witches, and then just like farm them? Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, take the and separate them and farm them? Well, then, yeah. 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 We're at. Oh, you weren't following along. Yeah, we were going to talk about that. Yeah, so it's not. It's not guaranteed to a green seed drop. So potentially you could do that, but like then one time it won't drop a green seed. And then, and then you're screwed. Short. I mean, the witch with no prize. So, yeah, it's a bad loot system, then, right? Yeah. Yeah, it is a bad loot system. <laughs> you were talking about green. Okay, so based off of what you were just saying, if you keep fighting this witch over and over again, and eventually there will be no green seed, if you keep doing that until there are no more green seeds. Well, it's always going to be the same green seed. So, if, like, I guess in the show, uh, when they are at the hospital and there's the grief seed on the wall that's about to hatch, uh, Charlotte's grief seed is always going to look like that. So let's say that they were defeating Charlotte over and over and over again. Well, what if one time like the grief seed doesn't come out? You never know. And that's the whole way to encourage you to keep on fighting witches. Does that make sense? Plus, it also doesn't help if there are a bunch of witches running around killing more people because that's undercutting Cubase's like potential stock of magical people. Monica. It's not a perfect system. To add on to that, I think a lot of people have forgotten to factor in you're still trying to live a day to day life on undercover like a superhero. If you keep farming witches, you're also bringing that closer to home and the ones you care about could get eaten. Oh, if you yeah. care about anyone. All about that. <laughs> or bring people you don't like over there. Like, come to my house. <laughs> well, if you keep it at the jail cell, like, oh, no yeah. problem. <laughs> well, yeah, just lock it up at Guantanamo Bay. <laughs> oh, wait, which is next? So? That is also correct. If you don't defeat it, they will leave and set up shop somewhere else. I do remember reading this comic, though, where it was a, like a joke comic where Homura, like, made every girl in her class like a magical girl and then like she was able to defeat Paul Perkins because she had a group but like a week later 
like all of them like disappeared because like you know they all got depressed and found out what happened. So like <laughs> if you make if you trick if you become kind of like Juve and trick people into coming out to the world and have a bunch of wish there. It works. Yeah. It works term long term. Yeah, it's all about long. Yeah. Well, let's get back back to it. Uh, witches and wishes. So wishes exist outside of reality. The existence of magical girls defies logic. Anything that deviates from reality is going to create a distortion. You're going to question what you're fighting for, and you're going to become filled with doubt and regret. You'll eventually lose your desire to purify your soul gem, and your gem will become cloudy with impurities, which is exactly what happened to Sayaka, because she sucks. When this happens, a curse will form. No matter how selfish your wish, your wish is never going to turn out how you want. You're betrayed by your wish, and your hope will turn to despair. Despair is the absence of hope. The, the expectations that you were hoping for weren't met. Hope and despair do need to even each other out, as Sayaka discovered, and your curse and your soul gem will grow to be as powerful as your wish. For each person saved, another one is going to be cursed in return. When your soul gem is overtaken by a curse, a grief seed will hatch, creating a new witch, shown here. This creates the visual representation of how despair can take over your soul. <clears throat> There is no going back. This can't be reversed. Uh, the real only way around it is if you were to die first. Uh, so for example, up here we've got Sasa Yuki, who is also from uh, Eureka Magica. She sees what happens to the magical girls and she destroys her soul gem uh, so that she could avoid becoming a witch, but she didn't know that that would actually kill her. Mommy, in any timeline where she finds out or the fate of magical girls, she will mercy kill her friends and then kill herself to keep them from becoming witches. I'm just nice like that. <laughs> so if you really don't want to be a witch that badly, uh, you can kill yourself, but I would not advise it. It is not energy efficient. <laughs> there is uh, also one other form of despair that is uh, related, and uh, it's when you do use your magic too quickly while fighting a witch and without purifying your soul gem. So actually in this scene, this is when Homura has uh, already made her wish to become a magical girl, and she sees uh, Monica turn into a witch, and this is when Homura realizes uh, the true fate of magical girls because Homura's wish didn't actually save Monica, right here. Miracles don't come for free, and uh, being a witch is that destiny that no magical girl can escape. This is why it was important to choose your witch carefully. A good witch is going to keep you around longer so that you can take advantage of your magic and use it for yourself. So, at this point, uh, if you have a soul gem, can you go ahead and stand up? Let's uh, see how everybody did as a magical girl. Okay, great, great artist. Can you guys still hear us? Yes. Okay, so you have two potential horrible fates. One is don't appreciate your art and your despair, or your art is so commonplace now because you're so great that no one cares, so you despair. So sorry. <laughs> Um, become the devil, um, seeing that that's kind of just like a human construct. In Kube eyes, you just kind of become like a vile, hated creature by man, so you kind of just spit stripe, so you're kind of a target for other magical girls, because you're just kind of making your job harder. You know, it's one of those, like, Tark wished to bring the light to France, so you kind of did the opposite, so you're making everyone's life a lot more miserable. So you kind of put a target on your back. So you die. <laughs> well, you don't become a witch. Yes. Kudos. 
<laughs> did it help? Entropy. Okay. Oh, wish to know what you should wish for. You know that you should have wished for a better wish. <laughs> <laughs> but do I die? Oh, yeah, you, you despair like instantly. <laughs> I don't feel so good, Mr. Stark. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Doesn't that in turn in other, uh, demen or, uh, other realities I could wish for a better wish? Mm. See, that's what I was thinking. I was like, maybe I, I would I internally die instantly in this realm, but in a different alternative universe, I could wish for a badass wish. Mm. Well, unfortunately, Cubate is like, uh, 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 really her. Because this happens to Nakisa, or supposedly, there's a concept is that in the concept art for the anime is you, this girl wishes for a slice of cake because her dying mother, grandmother enjoys this cake. Well, she gives her the cake. Oh, that's great. Well, maybe I should have actually wished for my mom, grandma to be better. And then she kind of turns real quick after that. <laughs> Instant despair. Um, wish to swim with sharks. That's wonderful. But there aren't witches out by sharks, so <laughs> eventually you just kind of become a sea witch. Magical fish. Don't fish out the sharks. Mermaid! First of all. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yes, you could luck out. Some other magical girl made a wish earlier than you, and she's a sea witch, so they could keep you going a little longer. <laughs> but chances are you'll be out there swimming, and you're like, ah, oh, and oh man, your poor sharks. Just, they like, kill all of them. <laughs> Sucking them into your war. Do witches target animals? No. No, no the sharks now the familiars. Unless it's a megalodon. Sharknado. Yeah, big witch Sharknado. Sharknado was a witch. Yeah. Yeah. Let's Now that we've solved the mystery of why Sharknado happened, we solved the mystery of why Plum. And see, then Homer goes back in time, and then we get another Sharknado. Okay, wish to help others. Oh, you, you're too helpful. See, you help and help and help, and you don't actually like cleanse your own soul jail. This happened in uh, Kazumi uh, Magica, where this magical girl saves a group of other girls, they become magical girls, and she helps them by not using grief seeds and lets them all use it. So then she ruins their life by becoming a witch in front of them, and they're like, What the fuck just happened? <laughs> so, yes, you become a witch. In front of your friends. Because the problem with wishing to make wish magical girls become magical girls again will then defeat the you know purpose of collecting energy. It takes a very special type of um, magical girl to be able to make such a big wish, and we'll get into that. Okay, perform at peak physical performance. It's a it's a good wish. But when other rival magical girls wish to be successful in everything they do, they have a little bit of an edge. So you die at, you know, success, success girl's hands. <laughs> uh, inspirationalism. Um, you can't keep up the magic, so you're constantly depleting. So unless, oh, did you raise your hand to support or not support familiars? Uh, I think I didn't support killing familiars, no. Okay. Because it's still going to be really rough. Because <laughs> you're, in Oriko, her problem is that she has um, foresight and it's constantly running. So she's constantly raising her magic. So she barely survives with the help of another magical girl. So if you don't have a, like someone actually providing the grief seeds, you're eventually just going to succumb to inspiring everyone. So you also get a witch. Oh, <laughs> um, all people can now uh, make contact.
contrast, that's great for Cubay. It's not great for you because um, you're going to be really cool, super rich when you do eventually despair. Yeah. So all the people who made contracts though. Well, I mean, they have potential now to make contracts, so Cubic can make a lot of widgets, and you really do the world. Oh. Good job. But Thank you. You also created a lot of energy. Yeah. Um, familiar with sharks is pretty good. <laughs> um, success. You did really, really good. Um, but. Not as good as pretty soul gems. That's a really good yeah. selfish wish because you're going to now be dedicated to this soul gem because it is now your world. So you will kill everything and anything to keep it from like not being impure. Because once it starts becoming impure, you're going to be like nuts. It's like, this is my pretty soul gem. Oh, it's no, going to be, so be precious. precious. Yeah, my precious. Awesome. <laughs> my precious. <laughs> yeah, so. It's a really good selfish wish. Congratulations. But, and success, you, you didn't die. She just has a better wish than you. She did slightly longer. Slightly longer. <laughs> so the pretty soul gem survived the longest. Yes. So come on down, you won a prize. Ooh. <laughs> Have you read uh, the different story? Have you read any of the Monica Magica spin off mangas? I did. I never read the first one. Kazumi is the worst one. Yeah. <laughs> story wise. Because you suffered through that. Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I didn't read any of the other ones. I thought oh, wrong. this one, the different story volume, three volumes, that is so much better. It will eliminate any idea of ever shipping Sayaka with Kyoko. <laughs> Comment in the back? Yeah, I was just wondering how you think the wish, the ability to control wishes without becoming a wish will turn out. Um, you die in that one scene where you crush your own soul gem. Because that's exactly how it happens in Oregon. Extra story. Yeah, didn't Sasasa. Yeah, she wished wish. to control all people more powerful than her, which was like all witches. And then Oriko said, Hey, you become a witch when, when you die, you know, when you get so far. And she's like, oh, I'm not having any of that. Went, yeah, the Oriko stuff actually gets pretty dark uh, for the series. Like, I mean, it was already a dark magical for the series, but it's. Yeah, like they open a war inside with the target high. And yeah, the familiars are the most active familiars you'll ever read about. Oh, yeah. It's an, only a two volume set, so if you can get any of them, that one's really good because it's just way, way dark. <laughs> like the teacher dies like almost immediately after the ward opens. <laughs> all right, well congratulations to all of the brand new witches and dead people. <laughs> but, don't worry, because any of the suffering that you have endured along the way serves a greater purpose. And that purpose is that you are trying to delay maximum entropy, which is also known as the inevitable heat death of the universe. <laughs> uh, now this is where it gets a little bit confusing in uh, science, it's crazy. Uh, so thermodynamics over here uh, is the study of heat and energy. So entropy is actually a thermodynamic quantity, so quantity meaning a number. Uh, that represents the unavailability of a system's thermal energy. It's often described as a degree of disorder, which is pretty appropriate for the series. Uh, the first law of entropy does state that energy can't be created or destroyed. Uh, so when the energy changes form, some of it is lost, which Cube describes as wasted. So it does, like for in this little diagram, it does take more energy to grow that tree than it takes to burn it. This so, like killing magical girls is a big no-no. Yeah, so don't kill her magical girls. <laughs> the second law of thermodynamics describes the limits of energy within a system. So in this case, the system is just the universe as a whole. Uh, entropy is either going to stay the same or increase. That whole heat death thing happens 
uh, when entropy reaches a maximum. That's where energy in the universe is going to be uh, evenly distributed, and which makes it useless. So the universe is actually leaning towards disorder, unless it can be de delayed or prevented. Uh, Cube is actually part of an alien race called the Incubators, uh, and it was their job to convert the emotions of the sentient life forms into energy. So the Incubators don't have emotions, and that's why they needed the Magical Girls. The amount of energy that's produced by a single human uh, is greater than the amount used between its life, or between its growth, or birth and Big wish. <laughs> a little bit too big for most you to try, but we'll have to see on that because it does take a very, very high potential, which uh, we're getting to. So the most effective energy actually does come from the teenage girls who are transitioning between hope and despair. Because there's a lot of stuff going on when you're a teenager. Uh, but yeah, since it's between the girls, that is really why there's no magical boys in the series, although it is entirely possible. Uh, because there are two examples of beings that become magical girls that aren't actually human. Yep, it's in the spin-offs. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so when your soul gem becomes a grief seed, that's when the enormous amount of energy is released, and it's the incubator's job to collect that energy. So that just brings us really one more reason why it was important to choose your wish carefully. And uh, uh, use it uh, because the bigger the wish and the better the wish, the more energy you're going to release when you become a witch. Now uh, with that, remember going back to that whole potential and karmic destiny thing, you guys all have your questions about why can't we do this and why can't we just reverse all the stuff. And uh, so here's why. That increase in karmic destiny does bring an increase of energy when the magical girl despaired. So in one timeline, Madhava wished for the power to defeat Valpurgis not, that giant wish, which, and she was able to defeat Valpurgis not, uh, but she did it in one shot, and that shot used up all of her energy and, she, and magic, and she became a witch. That was that scene we saw with Homura. But uh, that released so much energy because the wish was so big, that the incubators were actually just about to like pack up their stuff and leave Earth because they had already solved entropy from that. Uh, but Homura did have some other points, so that didn't happen. Uh, in this way, the relationship between incubators and magical girls is mutually beneficial because you guys get to make an awesome wish and also save the universe at the same time. So it's really not so bad. Uh, it's also uh, illogical to care about the lives of you around people rather than the greater good. Like, agree, show of hands. Very universal philosophy. Agree or disagree, show of hands. Oh, there's spots out there. <laughs> uh, does anyone want to comment on, uh, on this? Uh, I think.